The emerging technologies have been contributing immensely in the transformation of military industrial complex and the, it is also impacting the strategies and war fighting capabilities of these states. Many states have been fabricating and integrating these emerging technologies in their weaponries and at the same time it, they are enhancing, with this they are enhancing their military capabilities. The analysts have started looking this situation with reference to the third nuclear age because with the emerging technologies now the states are capable to make non-nuclear strategic weapons. That means that the weapons which are, they are conventional but having a impact of a nuclear. So definitely it is causing a big challenge to the strategic stability, especially in the region like South Asia or, or in Europe or in uh, where you find it, Taiwan Strait or Korean Peninsula. The emerging technologies is also encouraging number of the states that they can increase their capabilities and deter the adversaries. But at the same time, the problem is that there is no arms control in this domain. There is no understanding of the arms control. And the older or the 20th century arms control is withering. We have a last treaty between the Americans and the Russians, New START Treaty, and the, the negotiations or the working has been suspended. So in this age where there is no arms control, there is no code of conduct and where the emerging technologies have been revolutionizing the military technology, certainly the situation will be very much, you can say, dangerous in the future. Having said this, that when we are looking at these technologies, the integration with the weapons in our own region, it seems that India has been perfecting and introducing the new missile systems. These new missile systems, especially supersonic cruise missile, supersonic kill vehicle, or Integrating them with the missile defense system, definitely it, they are shifting the balance in their favor. The classic balance, which uh, balance of terror, which prevented the war between India and Pakistan or causes the deterrent stability in South Asia, that is again now under stress because of these emerging technologies. So we have to take these emerging technologies very seriously, especially when we are analyzing or looking this strategic situation in a region like South Asia where two nuclear powers are not having even a dialogue nowadays.